Hello, families. Today we're doing two digit subtraction using expanded form. Okay, what's the first thing we do in expanded form? Rewrite the Rewrite the equation. 56 minus 37. Let's put our little arrows here. What's the expanded form of 56? 56 plus 6. Okay, what's the expanded form of 37? 30 plus 7. Good. Okay, now in subtraction, we always have to start in the ones, right? Yeah. Just in case we have to regroup. Let's see. Can we do six minus seven? Yes. No. No, we cannot take away seven ones from six ones. That's impossible. So what do we do? How do we regroup an expanded form? Ethan. Ethan. Uh, we'll take a 10 from the 50. Yes, I'm going to take that 10 from the 50. So the 50 becomes... The new expanded form of 56 is going to be 40 plus 16. It still equals 56. It's just a different way to make it, right? Okay, so now we can do our subtraction. When we're doing subtraction, we always start in the ones, right? 16 minus 7 equals? Nine. Nice and loud. Nine. 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 Now we're going backwards, but we have to add the plus because the answer is an expanded form. 40 minus 30 equals? 20. 40 minus 30 equals? 10. 40 minus 30. 10. 10. I already said it. And here's our answer. I knew it was 19. Here's our answer in expanded form. I'm going to rewrite it. Now, the important thing when we rewrite it is place value, right? It's nine ones. The nine has to go in the ones column. Now we can add, starting with the ones, zero plus nine equals? Nine. And one plus nothing equals? One. one. The answer is? Nineteen. Very good. 